a long, long time ago, back in the days of the Maccabees, there lived in the land of Israel a very wise man named Honey the Circle Maker. Honey was famous in those days because he knew the special prayers that no one else knew. But despite being so wise, Honey was also extraordinarily impatient and surprisingly selfish. One time, when it was the time of the rainy season, no rain fell. The ground was too hard for planting. The crops began to dry out. Everyone began to worry. So they went to Homie the Circle Maker and said, Please, Mr. Circle Maker, talk to God, ask God to make it rain. Why? If there's no rain, how will we grow our food? Ah, uh, I have plenty of food in my cabinet. Pony, for once, think about someone else. All right, fine. So Honey and the circle maker drew a big circle on the ground with a piece of chalk. And he stood in the center and said, God, I will not move from this circle until you make it rain. And nothing happened. So Honey shouted, God, maybe you didn't hear me. It is me, Honey the circle maker. These people need rain, a rain of blessing, to soften the earth and bring food to the hungry. I know you are just and compassionate, and I'm not moving from this circle until you make it rain. And then there was thunder and lightning, and it fell from the sky in a tremendous downpour, and all the people cheered. Hooray for Honey the Circle Maker! And they all ran off to tend to their crops and plant their vegetables. Oh, I'm soaking wet, and a big prayer like that really makes me hungry. And he set off down the road looking for something to eat. As he was walking, he came upon an elderly woman who was planting a carob tree. Excuse me, what kind of tree are you planting? It is a carob tree. Do you know what carob is? It's supposed to taste like chocolate, but it doesn't. But they didn't have any chocolate in ancient Israel. Anyways, Honey said to the elderly woman, Carob, huh? Well, not to be rude. Carob, huh? How long did that tree to bear fruit? Got it. Well, it will take 70 years. 70 years? I mean, not to be rude or anything, but you're not exactly a youngster. Are you certain you will live another 70 years to eat the fruit of this tree? Perhaps not. However, when I was born into this world, I found many beautiful carob trees planted by those who came before me. And just as my ancestors planted trees for me, I'm planting trees for my children and grandchildren so they love carob to eat. 70 years. Just the thought of it makes me sleepy. And Honey lay down on the ground next to the carob tree. And Honey fell fast asleep. He fell into a deep, deep sleep. In fact, he slept for so long that Honey slept for 70 years. And when Honey woke up, he had grown a big, long beard. And Honey looked up and saw another elderly woman gathering fruit from the carob tree. Are you the same woman who planted this tree? No, I am that you must. No, that was my grandmother. Wow, I must have been asleep for 70 years. That was some schluff. Here, have some carrot. And for the rest of his days, Honey the Circle Maker helped plant carrot trees so that all the children and grandchildren would have plenty to eat. And if you go to the north of Israel today, you can see those carob trees. And all the parents and grandparents told this story to their children and grandchildren. And now we're telling this story to you so you can tell it to your children and your grandchildren and remind them of what Honey learned. That the way we show we are thankful to those who came before us is to make things better for those who come after us. Absolutely amazing. So we want to ask you, after that incredible theater, what seeds are you planting that may not bear fruit for many, many years to come? 